welcome back guys and let's have a look at what we've been up to since that again miserable nil nil draw with paris saint germain we have played a few games we have since played paris saint germain again and obviously played plymouth in the cup you know that game that i said um i was gonna win easy the game i was gonna um i should win that game i think is to use where to use something like that well first of all as you can see from the league we are still three points clear going into the last five games of the season so that's an interesting one we are very much on two in the league but it's one it's one result away from disaster and manchester city are there marcus rashford still having an amazing season scoring 29 goals for the season and um onana's got a 97 percent pass completion uh, which is great but it's about as best as it's getting for him at the moment um Obviously not doing, obviously not having the greatest moment in uh, the real world in the Champions League lately, and it turns out it's not just in the real world where Onana oh, isn't having the best moments in the Champions League. As you can see, we did get knocked out of the Champions League in the return leg, two two on penalties. Now that's fine, that's fine. You know, two twos on penalties against PSG we weren't even expected to get this far. You could kind of take it on the chin. Um, but bearing in mind, going into like the 80th minute, we were winning this game. Um, and to be honest, we, we, we weren't too worried. However, um, as I just mentioned, oh, oh, Nana had had a moment again. He had another moment, like to add to the highlight reel from two episodes ago. How could it possibly go around? And Nana kicks it out. Goes straight to PSG. You know, still in a relatively safe area. You know, what? how could we possibly mess it up from it here? Asenjo puts a ball in. Onana decides to sit down. Let's just have a look there. He decides to just... Bend. I, don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. He decides to sort of bend down and just stay there and contemplate life for a moment. All in the meanwhile, leaving three quarters of his goal off and PSG go and equalise there. And that, in fact, was the very goal that would then cost us um, for the game to go to a champion to a penalty shootout, sorry, and then obviously on the penalty shootout we were ahead, we were two one up on the penalty shootout, but then we went on to um, lose those penalty shootouts. So as much as I can accept that we didn't necessarily beat PSG in the Champions League knockout stages, it is gutting to lose, but it's very gutting that potentially that mistake is is the mistake that got you out of the Champions League. But nevertheless, um, semi-success in the Champions League this year. Not a competition I expected us to win. Um, we just have to go again next year. Also, as well, as you can see, against Plymouth, the easy game, we uh, we made a meal of that. Yes, I may have played a few B players, not many, but we, we made a meal of that. And we, we struggled. I had to bring on some of the senior players, more senior players. And we, we I mean, look at that. We went to extra time to start with. I think we were the ones... That ended up um, equalising. Um, it was yeah, it was one 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 going to extra time. We ended up just scraping it in. So you know, really did ourselves proud there. In terms of our league form, my Premier League Manchester City beat us there. No red cards this time though, so absolutely great. Um, typically, I was going to come back from the return leg, but I decided not to, and then obviously all the chaos happened. We then in. Sort of breeze, well, I said breeze through Stoke again, made a meal of, it, meal of it, but we did get past Stoke. So we find ourselves in a situation where we've, we've six games left of the season, including the FA Cup. We are going to play the Manchester City game again, but this time it is the FA Cup semi final. Winner gets to the final. Loser only has the league. Well, I say I don't know about Manchester City, but ourselves, we, we lose today. We kind of have to put everything into the last five games of the season to maybe possibly get us a strange and very unexpected league win in the first season. But we've recapped on what we've been up to, what Onana's been up to, and where we find ourselves in our cup competitions. We've only got two competitions to go. We could be down to one today, or we could be in a final after today. Let's just let's not waste any more time. Let's just get straight into that. There is one bit of crucial information I forgot to um, mention. Um, going into that crucial, crucial part to the end of the season there is Hoyland's out for the rest of the season now. Sancho's out probably for the rest of the season, maybe not. 
Varane also out basically for the rest of the season. This season we have had at every point we've had at least one or two senior players out injured and players are just starting to come back. Harry Maguire, players like that, just starting to come back. But now our main and probably only striker in Rasmus Hoyland and our fantastic winger on the right hand side. Obviously you guys probably won't see that on the screen. Move it a second there. As you guys can see, he's done well. 19 goals and 82 appearances. And he's doing well for us now. He's injured. And Varane has been doing very, very well from the centre-back there. So, we are injury-plagued of senior players. So, we are going to have to try and win a trophy and a Premier League title without our only senior striker worth playing. And also, we have now officially qualified for the Champions League. The board are happy that we've managed to pass an objective this season, which, as I've been saying all along about Manchester United, that should be a minimal expectation for us. We have managed to do it with at least five games to go, and the supporters are happy as well. Now, there is something I haven't yet clicked on myself. Is the board set initial budget? I know that's down as already read. It's because I clicked them all as Mark as read. But I haven't actually looked at this budget for next season. So at the moment in time, obviously, Champions League football, no trophies. I assume if I, you know, if I win the Premier League title, you never know, we could get some more. So I need to turn this team back into world-class Premier League, Champions League team. In our second season, what kind of budget are we looking at and how bad are we going to have to sell? Well, let's all take a look together. I mean, I can work with that. A wage budget of £5 million and a transfer budget of £55.8 million. I'm not going to lie. As he says there, these values may be altered later based on a season's expectations. I'm not going to lie. Um, It's a little bit low for a Man United budget that I would expect. But I guess, like I said, one of the things we were looking at is maybe bringing down that debt, the expected debt as well, so we can get this club in a strong financial position as well as a strong position on the pitch. But £55.86 million is what we're looking at for the summer. Um, But there is always the power of instalment. I think the key thing going to next season is to bring in key players in specific positions. I don't think um, there is a few bits of Deadwood I would like to get rid of and replaced with squad players. But again, if you spend that wisely, it can be it can be done well. Um, but I think in terms of key players, I think there's only a couple of positions where I need to bring in a starting position there. So again, we'll probably have to sell a few players, but we also we sort of planning on doing that anyway, weren't we? Um, but that's all the breaking news. Champions League football next season. Fifty-five million pounds to spend so far. Let's go and um, let's go Wembley. So this is the team we are going with against Manchester City. We are going to be sticking Dybala up front again. We don't really have much of a choice. It was either him or Strang Larson, and I think it's safe to say that didn't really work out for us. I think after one season he'll be gone. Garnacho comes on the right because Sancho is in fact injured, and then in back the. And then at the back, you have Tar coming in. Jonathan Tar, who was signed possibly for the future. Again, he was kind of brought in with the intention of possibly replacing Varane, who doesn't necessarily want to be here after next season anyway. So now is his time to shine. The rest of the team, relatively the same. Fernandez, Mount, Rashford, of course, Casemiro, and Wan Basaka. Let's, um, let's see if we can pull off a miracle, eh? I mean, it would be third time lucky against Manchester City this season. I mean, obviously, in the first game, you saw that red card for Regulon. And we did manage to go and scrape a draw. And then in the return fixture, we did get beat by Manchester City. So, we we kind of... We, we haven't got any victories here yet. But, um, you know, third time lucky. This is the big one. Let's get ourselves to a cup final. Hopefully, um, hopefully it is third time lucky. Probably the first highlight with Dybala with a very, very good free kick there. All we needed was someone to jump on that, and we would have probably snuck a goal there. Can any of the big lads get in? Varane's normally been doing this very well, um, but that was a terrible corner anyway. Back ball straight to the goalkeeper. This is Manchester City's first highlight of the game. De Bruyne's in there. Can, he, can we stop? him ideally i would prefer that if we did i kind of wanted to look at the likes of calvin phillips but then i thought realistically would we go and sign 
Calvin Phillips from Manchester City. I'm not too sure we would. Um, so I've kind of sort of moved on from that because that's one of the positions where I think we could improve in that defensive midfielder with um, Armando, I'm his call is, is going to be going back next season. Although, I'm kind of considering buying him, not because to keep him, but his ooh, his value is... um. Is double what um is double what the um option is to buy him. So I'm wondering if it's possible if I could buy him and then sort of sell him. It sounds a bit daft, but but I'm just gobbing away. And then the smallest centre back on the pitch, probably the smallest player on the pitch in Martinez, has just gone and scored a header from a Fernando's free Fernando's free kick. It's one nil, nearly half time. We are one 0 up. But yeah, I am looking at bringing another defensive midfielder in, uh, maybe change the deep line and playmaker there. However, like I said, I might bring that lad lad in because he is £17 million, I think it is, with the possibility of doubling that um, if we wanted to. So that is one consideration of mine. Um, so I don't think Phillips would be one of it, though. I do have to be wary of the English quarter, um, as we do need to keep that up as well. But nevertheless, we are on half time and we are ahead at half time. We play our cards right in the next 45 minutes and you'll be coming back to the next episode in an FA Cup final and maybe, maybe even a Premier League title. I don't think any of us were saying that at the beginning of the season. It has been a relatively quiet first. It seems to be every time I come on um, the camera with you lot. Um, it seems to be, uh, it seems to be quite a game. I mean, what four shots between us in the entire game? I mean, the first Manchester City game, boring. The PSG game, boring. Nil nil. No highlights. Again, this is the first proper highlight of the second half. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Um, realistically, if there's not another single highlight between now and the end of the game, yeah, yeah, it'll probably be a suck for the video, but um. We'll be in a cup final, so, you know, wins and losses, wins and losses. We have... Oh, wah. That was something. I'm not too sure what Onana was doing there, but great goal line clearance there. They are going to get a corner straight from the that there. Hopefully we can clear that with no issues. That was an issue. Um, but we didn't concede anyway, Jesus we are riding our luck here. They've had a goal line off of thing and then playing ping pong with the crossbar and the post. What are we doing? I mean, like... It's like we're trying to lose the second half. I mean, Casemiro has been fantastic for us, but he seems to have those moments in him as well. Mason Mount's another one. <coughs> I am playing him in the position of central midfielder. He, he, he isn't his best... Position box to box is his best position. However, I'm just not doing that box to box at the moment. Um, so it's another one where I really, really sort of I keep playing him there, hoping he'll adapt. Um, but if not, then maybe do we look to sell him in the near future? And um, again, I don't really want to. I want it to work him. Want it to do well here. Well, this is the first highlight in rather a short while. Seventy six minute. Um, it looks like the highlight is to us. I mean, Ty's got the ball there with Mount. Martinez were playing it sort of patiently. And we then patiently pass the ball to them so they can counter-attack us. Is it coming? What? Ooh, I mean, what is Onana doing? What is Onana doing? We need to take a look at this. As I said, we are shot in certain positions. So, Anthony has, has come on. Um... Arabat has come on, Ericsson, Regulon have also come on just to give more energy. I have kind of sat us back a little bit and decided to play more direct football with the um, instruction of running up to defence. I'm kind of hoping that will help us not absorb it, but, you know, sit back and not, not let them get that much space in behind us. And hopefully with the likes of Anthony, Rashford and Dybala, we can nick the ball back and go on a counter-attack. Now is his chance to show us. Fernandez there. Into Rashford. Ooh, I think he's offside. I mean, that's exactly what I was just explaining to you guys. The sort of football... Yeah, I thought much. But it was exactly a perfect example, almost, of what I meant. 
We nicked the ball off him. We ran at the defence. Yeah, he's miles offside. Sat back, ran at the defence, and boom, we almost put this game out of sight. Then decided to keep keep ball here. Anthony with the ball. Can he do something with it? I kind of feel like I've been unfair to Anthony. He is going to leave, and I, and I haven't given him a chance in the entire game. Um... In the entire season, sorry. I feel like we have been a bit unfair to him, but it's just never someone I've ever fancied. I think I can maybe chalk it off of not giving him a chance and maybe a world class player that we um missed out on developing. But I think he's I think this time he is shot, especially under me. I can't imagine he's gonna want to play under me. I've tried to sell him at every moment. So we have just decided to end the game by hacking them down. That seems like a you know smart thing to do going into the last minutes of the game. They have got a corner, like I said, five minutes added time. Can we... Ooh, Anana then. He makes me nervous, Anana. He's another one I'm not too sure what to do at the end of the season, but he makes me nervous with these decisions. We are, what, a couple of seconds away? I think we clear this ball. We're in the final of the FA Cup. Are we going to be in the final of the FA Cup? Ooh. Is that it? Is that done? Boom, third time lucky. We are in the final of the FA Cup. We finally beat Manchester City this season. And with a weakened team. So that at the game I thought we wouldn't beat them, we did beat them. We have one goal. The short guy at the back, Martinez. And that's a nice header to get us through to the FA Cup final. So all we've got to do is keep City three points behind us for the next five league games. And then follow that up by an FA Cup final. This first season could still end in absolutely nothing or it could end fantastically with a league and the FA Cup final. Let's just skip and see see if we find out who we've got in the final and whether that's realistic or whether I'm just getting massively excited for no reason. There we have it. The FA Cup final has been decided. 3-0, a very surprisingly 3-0 um, victory for Chelsea against Arsenal. So there we are at Wembley, 90,000. Neutral, probably will be in the last episode of this season. We are going to be playing an FA Cup final and possibly a Premier League um, victory. Um, one against Chelsea. And then, what do we have a look at our running here? And then, when you look at the running to the Premier League, we have got Liverpool next, which I think is extremely huge. We beat them. I think we could really be in for it. Um, and then you have got Tottenham, West Ham and Forest. For City, are only three points behind us. And looking at their end to the season, looks like they were knocked out of the Champions League as well. So realistically, this um, that game was a basically a, one of us is going to potentially win two and one of us could potentially win one trophy. Um, we're still the team on for two. All they've got left now is the Premier League. And they've got a relatively difficult run, a bit similar to us with Newcastle to Tottenham to end the season. So Tottenham could make or break both of our seasons going in the running. Well, there we have it, guys. Finally, a victory over Manchester City. An FA Cup final for all of us to look forward to in the next episode. We are, we'll go straight to that next episode. And we'll probably see out the season and the FA Cup final in that next episode. And maybe have a quick chat about what we want to do next season. Realistically, that'll depend as well on the success we have this season as to how much I need to improve. And we'll have assessed the players we have in the squad and who we want to replace. We'll have a quick chat about that at the end of the next season, so we can all get ready and prepared to start finally getting Manchester United back to, like I said, annoyingly where they belong, back among the trophies, back among the titles. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Coming out for the latest recap, watching the FA Cup semi-final. I do appreciate all the support I have been have getting. If you do enjoy this content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the episode, comment down below. Do you think we're going to win the FA Cup final? Do you think we're going to league? Any transfer suggestions for next season? Or have I been too harsh on Anthony? All these questions, feel free to let me know your opinions down below. But guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.